we will create a small game that will be a fruit catcher in our game apples will be moving from top to bottom and at the bottom we have to receive them into into the bowl if we will receive them successfully our score will raise else uh, if we receive wrong apples our score will should get reduced okay so let us come to this site what is this scratch this is scratch.mit.edu this is the free and open source website you can use it and you can use it to create your own games or you can use it to create your animations you can use it to create stories animated stories also so now i am this time i am using this app to create a game so that i will show you how great game is created okay we will create a game in this scratch website this is basically a free website in which we can create our story so create after clicking the create option our next window will appear and in this window there will be three sections okay first section will be of coding section this is a coding section and second section is the where we will write this code where we will uh, drag and drop these codes and third section this is this is the section this is the stage where our story will get run and this is a character this is a character this time this is a character this is called a sprite and this character we will remove because we need other characters like apple and bowl i will delete it here these are it is these are the character uh, these are the this pane uh, these are the properties of this character and this this is a this is a button where we can choose a sprite so we want to choose apple this time i am choosing apple i have chosen apple and this is a backdrop okay this is the apple i have chosen and this is a backdrop backdrop means where we can add a back background to our suppose i want to add back this background to our game i am adding this background so this background has appeared here now i want to code this apple before that i want to tell you two things there this apple has a has certain position when i am dragging this apple here you can see x and value uh, x and y values are changed and when i am dragging it here again x and y values are changed again x and y values are changed this time x is positive and y is negative what is this positive and negative when i am moving this right or left right or left only the x values are changed when i am moving this towards up and uh, down only y values are changed but if i am moving it this way both x and y values are changed because it is moving up and right also similarly this way this way this way both x and y values will get changed and if i move it towards downwards y will get a negative value if i will move towards left x will get a negative value in this direction y will get a positive value and in this direction x will get a positive value in this direction both x and y will get positive values you can see it here okay now i want this apple should move from top to bottom so this is this we consider as a zero position if you see y has minus 1 and here if i will write here y value as 0 okay this will this is a zero position so i need to do one thing i need to uh, i need to change the position of the device so i will start an event event means that this flag is clicked this means the game has been started so i will click event this is actually the coding part where i will get scripts from here which i have to drag and drop here so i will click on event when clicked event i will drag it here it means when this flag is clicked what should happen okay i uh, i will tell him to move a y so i will put change y by i have to move it downward so i will write here the value in minus minus 5 suppose this means when i will click it once it will move minus 5 so i have to click it many times to avoid this many time clicking i will add a loop here so that it will repeat it repeat by, by itself so i will i will use forever okay and inside this forever i will write change by to minus 5 so i will click here it will change by its own now it has reached to an end after this reaching to this end before reaching to this one minus 196 suppose at this 170 I want this should move again upwards so i will place an if condition here and in this if condition i will write operators operate and in this operators i can choose this i will show you how here i will write y position if y position is less than okay so y position i will get in motion here i will get y position y position if y position is less than okay minus 170 that means if it is going beyond this minus 170 if it is going beyond this then what should happen at that time it is diff, uh, it's it should uh, apple should move again into the random position anywhere so i will choose a random position for x this is go to random position our apple 
we are applying this style to this so the apple will move to random position and we want this should happen always so i will place this if statement inside this forever <coughs> you can move but it is it is not going to the top direction top it is not always going to the top so for that i will add uh, add this random position i will fix y value i will set y to 100 you can set y to any value that lies here say 180 is the appropriate position top position now you can see every time y is coming from uh, every time y is 180 every time it is coming from top now i have to insert a bowl so i will insert a bowl so what uh, i will insert a bowl for that i have to use this sprite and here i will type bowl this is a bowl and my bowl is inserted here so what to do next for this bowl i have to change the position first i am changing this position here i will change its size to 150 so that this bowl will appear bigger after that i want this bowl should move according to this in the horizontal direction according to my mouse okay so for that for that i will uh, click on events this should also happen on clicking everything is happened on the single click okay control here i will do forever and in this for inside this forever i will set value of x so the motion motion here i will go to set value set x to set x to according to set x to mouse x whatever will be the position of the mouse that will be set inside the so i am using sensing sensing after that i will use touching mouse pointer okay no 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 not touching mouse pointer i will use i will use this mouse x inside this so now you can see the result see the result you will see uh, add the score whenever i have to first touch this this time i have to touch this now i will write a code for touching i will move again onto the apple when apple will touch the bowl so i will write in control i will write if if condition if my this uh, if my bowl so here we have to go to motion no i have to go to sensing because it is touch touching this if touching what bowl if touching bowl you have to if touching bowl you have to insert a sound first i will insert this sound basically this is not showing the result because we have not inserted it into the forever we will insert it into the forever now when it is touching sound is generated now after the sound is generated his this apple should not go beyond this this apple should go back to the so i have to co copy these two lines duplicate this and place it here whenever it will now it if when it will get touched again it will move backward from that point okay it is moving backward it is not going beyond this okay now uh, what to do next i have to generate the score so i will add the score so for that i will use this variables and here i will go to the score i will type here score make a variable score and you will see this score has been has been uh, shown here now this score i will use set my variable score to zero initially okay but this variable should be changed to this score variable and i will use change this variable by two when this is when this is touched so i am going to the touch this going inside the touch part here it will go become two okay you can see here the variable will be changed to score you can see touch occurs and score is two touch occurs and score is four touch occurs and score, score will be six now i am going to create few more apples of different scores i will duplicate this duplicate this again in this i will write a negative score and in this i will write more score in this i will click on this here the score should be negative it should be minus five and its color should be changed costumes we can use costumes for that and inside the costumes we use fill option here this color should occur and if we fill this okay now i am using outline of this and in this outline i will choose this and i will mark it as a crosshead and if this happens if this touches this apple there should be a negative value 
okay when i am clicking this the negative value is coming now if uh, now talking about this apple on this apple there should be score should be doubled score should be more so first of all i will blink this to make it a blink i will go to the looks here i will choose a color here i will choose this change color change color affected by 25 i will use it. 25 colors will be changed inside the for inside the inside this for each okay 25 colors will be changed you can see but for that score should be more five it should be five score okay now our project has been completed you can see it is it is gaining five score now our project is completed